For today's video, we're going to kick it old school and be opening some old vintage Pokemon packs with the yellow border. That's right. We're going to be opening up some Crown Zenith packs. That's right. That is the last set that has released from Pokemon. And I'm going to let you guys know on a little secret. So stick around and enjoy the video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, please do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe down below. And before we get into the discussion for today's video being yellow borders versus silver borders, please do me a favor, head on down into the description and follow me on Twitter. I've started a community over there on Twitter and if you wanna connect with me on a more personal level, I'm trying to utilize Twitter more and they just came out with something that you can use as a content creator. So I expect a lot more people will be using that. So if you wanna be early and uh, join the Twitter community. That would be amazing. I'd hope to see each and every one of you over there. If you don't have a Twitter, that's fine. We have plenty of room in the comments down below. Taking a look, here it is. Crown Zenith, obviously. Um, got the standard 10 that we're gonna be looking into and opening these packs as well as, I'm gonna let you know what I think is gonna happen to the yellow bordered cards. Now, this is gonna be a very far-fetched video. Um, so that's why I'm supplementing the video and the words I'm speaking right now with a little pack opening going on. So that at least if you don't like what I'm saying, you can at least appreciate the video or the packs that I'm opening. <clears throat> so first of all, let's let's take a look. Why, first of all, ooh, interesting. They're doing the whole hidden fates thing and not using the plastic. All right, whatever. Paper over plastic, it doesn't matter. Let's get this promo out of here without damaging it. All right, there we go. Let me sleeve this up and we can, we can get talking about this. So. Look at this card, all right? First of all, take a look. Looks like trash, right? All right, so I don't have Articuno in Japanese, but this is the, the Zapdos versus Articuno in Japanese versus English. And I don't know, Japanese borders have always been, you know, this gray border for as long as I can remember. And as many packs as I've opened of Japanese being mostly modern, I don't really remember the vintage packs. So we're gonna focus on modern, but for the sake of today's video, which one do you prefer? Regardless of Japanese or English, which artwork style do you prefer? Full art cards, silver borders, yes, personally. They do not need to use yellow border on a card like this, even if it's, like, especially if it's a promo. Like, that is unnecessary. Now, talking about the commons and uncommons and normal cards in the main series set, from, you know, from the last set that came out, Crown Zenith, all the way to the beginning of time of Pokemon, it's been yellow borders. So, we've... This isn't new, all right? I wanna make note of this. This is not new. We have seen plasma cards from Plasma Blast, Freeze, Storm in the past with blue borders. Those were amazing. And I love, personally, I love one-off cards like those plasma cards or like the Team Flare cards that were completely red from XY Phantom Forces. There's just a bunch of other one-off like card types that are out there um, that I personally am a huge fan of. What I think is gonna happen, and this is just a theory, but I'm making sure I document this now. I feel like Pokemon is not going back to yellow borders just because the the time it took them probably to consider switching English to silver, that that's a hard task in enough in itself, you know? So they're not gonna switch back, but here's my theory. There's gonna be people out there like me that grew up with, you know, ye yellow borders like most of us. I mean, everybody did unless you know, the new fans coming in are used to, uh, you know, the silver border from Scarlet and Violet and onwards. But I have a theory that these packs are going to soar in price. Now, let me tell you why. It's not that because, oh, I think there's a lot of value in all these billions of cards produced, but there's a lot of modern product out there and it's going to take a long time. This is not, this is not like financial advice or anything. This is not even gonna happen within the next like five years, maybe even 30 years, dude. To look at the statistic that more than half of the existing Pokemon cards were printed within the last two years, yellow borders are gonna be so easy to find, but you gotta consider how many people are ripping packs daily. It will get to a point where you won't have people ripping packs because the pack price will have gone up because of people like me wanting to open packs that are yellow bordered, like the purpose of this video. That's the only reason I got this tin. I'm like, man, I miss those yellow borders. I want to open some packs. I don't want to crack into my sealed collection. I don't need to crack a whole ETB. I just want a nice little tin to open a few packs 
and see the yellow borders again because silver is cool and all i love the silver change but personally i don't know nostalgia hits me a lot more often than usual i just like the yellow borders i've always liked them i just don't like them for the special art rares like this this promo this promo is awful like visually no not cool they could have even just extended the art across the whole card and made it like how they i mean xy has promos that have silver borders with a full art card like this i don't know why they went and made them yellow border i don't know if it was like a send off to the yellow borders being like hey enjoy this promo card it's the last time you're gonna see a yellow bordered card that's a promo for a long time i don't know but either way i am a fan of the silver bordered cards for the new sets especially it's just when it comes to the bigger like artwork intensive cards yellow borders don't look as good so silver would make more sense but for all these commons like this whole stack of cards here being yellow bordered like that's fine i wish they would just have kept the yellow borders for the commons and uncommons and then switched to silver for the better pulled cards you know like the higher rarities now they have ultra rare hyper rare double illustration rare single illustration rare there's just a lot to it now which is fine because it makes it a lot easier to let people know what is worth anything if it is worth anything um but yeah that's just my little rant we're gonna finish this pack opening fairly fairly soon here um but let me know what you think in the comments i know yellow borders are always going to be around and there's always going to be product out there but i am fearful for the future in that uh we might experience a time in the long future like way down the road where um, a pack like Crown Zenith or a less desirable, you know, Sword and Shield set like Fusion Strike, Battle Styles might see pack price increases just because people want to open cards that have yellow borders. And the local collector like me and most of you, I'd imagine, don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a pack of Fusion Strike in 10 years from now. So let's just everyone collectively do the best we can to keep the pack prices low because you know at the end of the day they are just card they are just it's just cardboard you know but i do have a lot of attachment to cardboard because you know it's a hobby and it's you know part of my childhood too as well so silver borders i don't know let me know what you think in the comments last pack we haven't pulled a darn thing really upsets me but i, I love the new promos like having the foil around the entirety of the card. I think that's really cool. I'm glad they did that. Similar to the old school level X style. Hey, man, if, yo, Manaphy, all right. Word up, Manaphy. Let me pull the video, uh, but I don't have this for the binder. So there we have it, Manaphy. Uh, Glaring Gallery number six of 70. There are, there are so many cards I need from this set and I do plan on ordering some singles in the near future, so. When I order those and those come in, I will do some binder update videos. But let me know what you think in the comments. I know this kind of was an off topic, one off spin off kind of video, but I don't know. I wanted to open some packs that had yellow borders. So let me know if you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on silver borders and I'll see you guys in the next video. Check the link in the description again. As I've said before, join me on Twitter. I'm very active over there. I'll reply to your DMs or follow you back. I really don't care. I'm just trying to trying to expand into other avenues of content creation. And Twitter is gonna add some video stuff soon, so you might have an opportunity to get some exclusive content over there that you wouldn't get over here. So have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.